Happy Sunday. Today's home workout is a quick one. AMRAP 10, uh, 24 double unders, 12 alternating gorilla rows, plus six alternating thrusters. So this workout, guys, um, I want you to kind of pick a pace that's 80% uh, percent pace, not too, too fast. Something that you can be consistent with, ideally trying to keep these movements unbroken. We are specifically kind of working on that upper body conditioning here, uh, especially with the alternating rows and the alternating thrusters. Uh, you will feel that taxing, that aerobic capacity kind of getting uh, challenged, but mostly you'll feel your upper body go first. So try to see if you can keep these movements unbroken as best as you can. Get to that range where you're, start, you're starting to feel that burn. Also, it's only 10 minutes, so we want to kind of get to that fatigue zone within our shoulders. Um, as long as we're keeping good form there. With uh, the alternating thrusters here, guys, it's kind of a new movement. Uh, might sound kind of weird. You don't have to pass a kettlebell or a dumbbell over to the opposite hand. You're actually gonna be holding onto two objects and you're gonna be doing only one thruster at the top of one side, then come back down and then do a thruster on the opposite side. You'll see more of a demo on what that kind of movement is, but it's a great kind of movement to work on that unilateral strength across the body there. Um, and I find them pretty challenging, so I keep doing them every week. Uh, good workout here, guys. See if you can keep um, a good uh, pace per round here. I would say try to stay maybe 90 seconds per round. Uh, I'm looking to get about uh, seven to eight rounds approximately there. See if you can push yourself to get a little bit more. Again, it'll depend on kind of what weights you have at home to do this today. Um, after you finish this one, guys, we're gonna tax that core. We're gonna go into that burnout zone. We've done this one before. Durante core of five rounds, 10 V-ups, 10 tuck-ups, and 10 second hull hold. The past couple months we've done this one, so we're gonna bring it back, um, try again, see if you can get each round done unbroken without breaking from your hollow body position. It's definitely going to be tough. It doesn't look like that much work, but once you get to those tuck-ups and hollow holes, that's where the roots starts burning. So see how best you can uh, to do it unbroken, or even if you want to try, if you're really crazy, try to do two rounds or three rounds unbroken if you can. Compared to last time, see what you did last time, just try to add a little bit more uh, to be able to progress a little bit further with it. Overall, great workout today, guys. Kind of short. Uh, getting yourself kind of re, uh, re, uh, recovered for next week and uh, working on that core, getting those beach abs ready for yourself. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's workout and afterburner. We'll see you next for the warm up. Good. All right, we're here for the warm up. Uh, three rounds here, 50 running skips. So, these running skips, guys, uh, we're just working on getting that heart rate up. Also, you can work on kind of work on that coordination of the skip. So every time you jump up, try and land on the balls of the foot each time. Um, don't land on the heels so we can work on that quick control and uh, work on that springiness off the feet. 50 running skips. After that, we're going to go into five inch worms with a tempo push-up, with one tempo push-up at the bottom. So for that, guys, that inchworm, start about um, feet outside hip width there. You can bring it in as you get more comfortable with it and if you want more of a stretch in the hamstrings. We're going to walk our hands down to that push-up position. Then from here, we're going to go nice and slow on the way down, keeping the elbows in until our chest touches the ground. Then we're going to drive up and then walk our hands in while trying to keep those knees locked out as fast as possible so we can feel a stretch in the hamstrings. Five reps of those guys, kind of get yourself moving there, get that push up down, work on that shoulder, or the, get those pecs activated. Then we're going to go into five and five lateral lunges. So, nice wide stance here. Toes can be slightly flared out if you need to, to make it a little bit more comfortable on you. We're going to initiate by pushing that hip back, then bending in the knee so we can keep that weight in that mid foot on the side that we're going towards. Get as low as you can while keeping that balance in the foot. Three second pause, then drive straight up. Watch out that you guys don't get onto those toes or in case you kind of fall back onto those heels. Try and keep it evenly distributed amongst your foot as you're coming down. Three second pause, then drive.
drive straight up. Five and five on each side. Once you're done that, we're gonna go into 10 Romanian deadlifts with a dual arm fly. So flying to two objects, plate objects here. I'm gonna use five pound plates. You guys can kind of use soup, soup cans to be an option. Anything that's light that you can get some activation with. So for that Romanian deadlift there, we're gonna think about kind of keeping that soft bend in the knees, but not a complete bend where we go down to a full deadlift. We're gonna put more emphasis on the hamstring and the glutes, so we're gonna push our hips back. So hips go back, keeping the objects nice and tight in our hands. We're gonna to get to about that mid shin, then from here we're gonna go for that fly, squeeze the shoulder blades together, back in, and then stand up that deadlift. We're going to be doing 10 reps of those guys, so go nice and slow, especially on the way down, push those hips back so you can feel in the hamstrings. And then once you're in that secure position, really try to squeeze in between those shoulder blades as you do that uh, dual arm fly. Three rounds of that, guys. Once you're done, we'll see you next for the workout. For those double unders, we have them. Uh, let's work on those double unders today. If you're at that 30 range, for example, see if you can break him up into sets of 20 um, or if you want to try it seeing if you can do bigger sets today this is uh, the great day to try and start or a great workout to start doing that if you don't have double unders let's go single skips or we can go for some running skips here guys um, also you can use that previous option from before which is the double tap box so you're gonna keep the feet together you're gonna jump up double tap your sides for a 60 reps total for the alternating thrusters, um, you'll need two objects and make sure those weights are obviously the same weight when you're doing those thrusters. What you're going to be doing is getting those objects to your front rack position. We're going to be keeping those elbows nice and tall, um, elbows up here, making sure they're not dropping down as we're doing that squat. We're going to be coming down, knees out, chest up tall, elbows tall, coming up. We're going to be thruster on just one side but keeping the opposite one still down in that front rack and keeping the shoulders engaged. Bring that one down, come down for that squat and then do the thruster on the opposite side. So again only one object is going up overhead and you'll alternate sides as you come back down to your thruster. So again really try to focus on those elbow positioning making sure your weight is right on that mid foot and you have even distribution there so it's not just the toes, the heels, really nice and flat against the floor so you can get lots of power out of that drive at the bottom of the squat. So again, control the way down, nice and explosive on the way up. Notice I'm staying nice and rigid as I'm doing that front squat and getting ready for my thruster overhead. That will be the alternating thruster. 